Hi, I have in front of me a RF modulator that's available on uh, freetv.ie. This is a digital display on it and it gives an, an analog output. So basically what you're doing is you're taking in an input either from a SCART or an RCA, you're converting it to an RF analog signal, and you're distributing it then to either one or a number of televisions uh, elsewhere in your house or your premises. Okay, so it comes in this outer box here, which you can see, and you can see the basic things on it is it's covering from channel in terms of the output from channel 21 up to 69. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna give an overview of exactly what the unit is, I'm going to just give a demonstration of how it adjusts the unit and then we'll give a demonstration of it working in conjunction with a skybox in this case. So we'll see in the front here, we just have the digital display. It just says what channel it's on. It'll go from channel 21 up to 69, depending on what we set it on. If we look, it comes with a three pin plug here. If we look on the back, we have an on-off switch in it. And then in terms of our inputs, well, what inputs could we have? Well, the first thing is we could take a feed from the box just using an RCA lead. So you know the leads you'd have and they'd be yellow and red. Um, so what the way it would work is the yellow is the video, the red is the audio on it. Now uh, we have a SCART input. This is what most people would be using. Take a SCART feed directly from a box, run it in here, and then uh, if it, once again, we'll be able to use one or other of these inputs and output it here as um, a, an RF output. Now you can actually take a feed from let's say a TV aerial. So in the past we'll say this would have been an analog signal coming in from your thing, combining another analog signal in with it. But now what would be obviously if it was a free view or a serve view setup, uh, what you do is you're taking a digital signal, but there's no problem combining both a, a digital and an analog signal into a single cable and running them together. Um, so it's pretty straightforward what you want to do. So I'll just give you an idea how the display would work and how it changed channel numbers. What I'll do at this point is I'll actually just plug in this unit here. I'm just going to move my chair out of the way for a moment. And I'll just come around here. This is what we have. And if we look at the front of the unit here, we'll see there is a channel 68. And how do I adjust it? Well, there's a channel up and down here. So if I go channel up, it'll go there, and then all the way back around to 21, or it'll come back here to channel 69, we'll say. So what I want to do next is I want to actually take the output from the skybox and send it over as far as the modulator. And I do that simply using a SCART lead like this. So what I'm going to do is I take the SCART lead and I input it here, and now we have the uh, signal going in, and it's ready to be fed out of there as an analog signal directly. And right now I've told it, go out on channel 68, or 69. So what I'm going to do here finally is I'm just going to get this lead here, and I'll input it here, and there we have it. Okay? So we have no output on the television, so there's something obviously that's radically wrong here. But there isn't. It's quite simple because we have this television pre-tuned already. So I went into the tuning menu, came along, put it on the analog tuner, and I said, let's come along and um, tune this in to work on channel 68, which is exactly what I did. Uh, and now I have it set in 69, so it won't work. But if I go down one, there's the picture. The output from the skybox is now displayed. I think it's on um, BBC or Sky News, something like that. So you can see the picture there is good, and just to demonstrate in terms of the volume on it. We'll see the volume is clear on it as well. So this is actually a surprisingly good unit. There's a lot of modulators on the market, we actually stock a number ourselves. A lot of them come in on a price point that is considerably higher than what we have for this one. But in terms of the setup, it's extremely simple, the unit that we have here. Uh, in terms of the picture and sound quality on it, you know, generally I find it good for the vast majority of applications, it'll work absolutely perfect. Um, things that we can't do and things to be aware of on this. Well, the first thing to be aware of is that, um, you know, if you're feeding this into a television that has only a digital tuner uh, and doesn't have an analog tuner, it won't work because you'll be sending an analog signal from here to a television that thinks. So most televisions uh, have either an analog tuner or more commonly in recent TVs, analog and digital, it'll handle both. So for the vast majority of TVs, it will work, but just be aware of that one setup. And the other thing here is a feature that some people sometimes look for is the ability not just to be able to view the television, 
uh, channel in the remote location, but also to be able to change channels from remote location. If that was the case, you'd better go for something like a Tri-Link or an IO-Link, something like that, if you're using with Skybox, simply because that has a 9-volt signal which allows you to change channels. But for straightforward viewing like this, um, this Pickley modulator is very, very popular. It's very compact, and you know it's really built up a good market for itself uh, in terms of it's proved popular with customers, both trade and uh, end users. So that's it anyway, an overview of the digital display analog uh, RF modulator available on freetv.ie.